Good enough. Okay, so we're in an orbit. It's it's parked away. I'm I'm looking now at that. Ink. It's not. It's terrible. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> we have a relative inclination of 22 degrees. Okay, so that was a fail. Oh, of course it was a fail. I don't think I was underneath the orbit. Ah, whatever. We'll try. We'll try and do better next time. But let's start by seeing if I can get myself a moon intercept. So the first thing is it's going to there's going to have to be a correction unless I'm extraordinarily lucky. So we're going to have to come out like this. And then we're also going to need some form of correction. At about the halfway point. Bring that down. There, there's our moon encounter. So that seems to be doing all right. Let's bring this further along. Okay. Let's get to that first minute. I'm going to play with both of these maneuvers. So I got a maneuver here getting out there at about 908 meters per second. And then I got this second correction of about 83, 84 meters per second. Um, let's see if we can... Thinking maybe a little more on... This guy. Oh, well, that's a little much. Holy jeepers. Come back. Okay. And let's look at that PE number. It's our moon periapsis. I'm going to try and make this burn as efficient as I can. I still got, um, oh, God, 2,300 meters per second on the vehicle. So that's not going to be an issue. I think I got to go to the second burn. I think that correction is going to be more than just a little significant. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. That is a hit. Okay, let's come back to the first burn. So what I want to do... You know what I think I might do? I think I might just burn this and just call it and then we'll fix everything with the correction. I want to come out. Uh, where's the moon? Focus view. I want to come around the retrograde side of the moon so I don't add up, add a ton of energy to my orbit. I want to end up coming close to the moon but not... I do there that's that's retrograde ish there we go okay I think I'm just gonna burn that and then we'll fix our so I'm gonna delete this one just burn this one so this burns coming up in 10 11 minutes so I'm gonna do a quick save and I'll let's turn down the throttle on this because I think my TWR is probably through the roof it is All right, let's get to that. Yeah, I have no, I am pushing over as hard as I can, but I do not have, oh, there's a little bit of attitude control. I can see it. Oh, I got to watch my electricity. Be a little careful. Oh, the sun's coming up. And once I turn on this engine, that'll be some. Now, the burn will take a little longer than it says here because I did turn down the throttle limiter on that. So maybe I'll start five seconds early. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, dear. Stage. Okay, bail on that. We're all right. Okay, so that engine exploded. 
Oh, I think I have limited ignitions on... Uh, whatever. It exploded is what it did. That was Kerbalism, deciding it was going to be mean to us. Uh, but I didn't have a lot of fuel left in that, and this is still fine, so... We'll deal. We still got a lot of fuel. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Oh, this this is... It is a wonky craft. I should maybe put some external reaction wheels on it. Some additional reaction wheels. Because it really wants to kind of skew over. Maybe if I reduce the throttle limiter too, it might have a better... Ability not to pull like that. Let's just cut the throttle. There's a lot of ignitions on that engine. That engine shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's just uh, push this out. All right, so we lost a little bit there. That was a little bit exciting. <laughs> I'm going to put this on to the north vector there. Just arrange it for some solar panel exposure and charge up those batteries. That should do it. Again, lots of science should be getting trans or collected to here and transmitted. It this science from around Earth will not be satisfied until it finishes a complete experiment. Um, so that's going to take a while for this magnetometer report. But I'm hoping once we're flying by the moon that it'll do one of these temperatures or telemetries or something, and that'll happen real quick. Okay, we got to do ourselves a correction here. We still have 1,291 meters per second left, so I. Think think we're going to be okay. Do a burn around here. Bring this down. Okay, there is our sort of a moon encounter. Yep. Oh, that's over here. Let's focus our view here. And uh, let's see. Bring this down, 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 down. Now, what I should also look at is look at that. Whoops. PE. Let's move this. That's worse. Use the scale. Okay, that gets worse this way. You want to get it in the most efficient spot. I mean, just generally it's about halfway all the time, but never exactly halfway, so. Well, pretty close to halfway. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. So where's my resulting... Oh no, that's giving me a real boost. So that's this is what I don't want to do. That is not what I want to do. What if I come around? Okay, we'll use some radial and we'll move it around a bit. Any more? I'm missing. There we go. Is it? I'd like to come in close and get some near space stuff. I might not be able to. Coming around the other side. Okay, let's... If I come around the other side, I would think that's worse. That is worse. Okay, so... Back the other way. Actually, it might be better. I'm wondering if instead of radial, sometimes it's better... I just turned on all my magnetic fields. Sometimes it's better to use the retrograde prograde to adjust. Yeah, that, that has more effect. Let's do that way. And then bring that down. Okay. That's a pretty happy looking orbit. Now, where am I? Let's bring back those. See, what I want is... Something that's going to go through all of these magnetic fields. Wow, not much of a change makes a big change.
I'm looking at this PE here. Let's focus this on Kerbin, if I can. Or Kerbin, Earth. There we go. I want this PE. dip down really close to to the earth. I want a really highly elliptical orbit. So I might not get that near got to keep sliding off. Okay. What's going on at the moon end? Just that way. What's this P look like? There we go. That's getting close. Is that in there? I think it's in there. So I want to go through, like if I turn this off, I want to make sure I get into this inner belt. So I want to cross the inner belt, which I think I'm doing. I want to cross the outer belt, which I'm doing, and I want to spend some time in the actual magnetopause and out of the magnetopause. Okay, I think that's good. Turn that off. That is a only 157 meter per second burn. And then what I'll do when I'm back down here at the PE is I will bring down my apple apoapsis so that I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm happy with that. So I'm not going to encounter the moon again. Okay, so F5, F5, F5. Uh, let's see, it's an eight second break. Yeah, let's do this. We'll say goodbye to the Earth. This is definitely going to be the first. Oh, oh, we got a radiation scan. So that uh, finished off that contract there. Radiation scan from something. I actually missed what it was. Now we'll orient our probe. Now it orients itself fine. So it was just about losing. All right. And can we see the moon? We must be able to see the moon somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. And there's no reason to let this get right down to zero because... This, t this, this burn is not that time critical, so I'm just going to give a little bit of throttle. By giving a little bit of throttle, I'm not inducing a ton of torque on this wacky, un, you know, unbalanced thing. We'll just take our time. Alright, got some... Oh, it was weird. The chat's being weird. It was, it was, uh, from my end, quiet for the longest time. And then all of a sudden we got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, just wait. I'm going to, coming off the maneuver node, I don't like that. Come back here. Finish this off. And then now all of a sudden a whole pile of stuff just popped up in the chat. What's this looking like? Okay. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. And again, the main thing is just, is it getting into that radiation belt? And it is. And are we encountering the moon? Which we are. Those are the two things I want. So we got a moon encounter coming up in three more days. And we'll be back to the moon, but I'm hoping, and I'm hoping next time I'll be a little more, uh, a little more, uh, a little better of a transfer. <laughs> 
Well, you're very welcome, Justin. I'm glad my videos are helping you out. Sorry, I am trying to orient this probe and read the chat at the same time. And then you can see I'm not doing a very good job. I could have lowered my periapsis with a small retrograde burn. That is very true. And considering I still have over a thousand meters per second, that probably would have been the better idea is to come around the moon. Um, sorry, still orienting this. Come around the moon, get that near space, and then do a burn when you're close to the moon. There, that looks pretty good. Do a burn when you're close to the moon and lower the periapsis that way. I agree. That would have been the more efficient thing to do. It's just not what I did. Okay, I'm going to do a quick a quick save. And now that I'm looking that I have over 1,100 meters per second left of delta V, that's, uh, was now, I'm now thinking that's pretty foolish. Okay, I am just going to do the old warp to here thing to there. Looks like we got a pretty solid encounter. So 57 minutes, now we should be seeing the moon. Seriously. It is coming at us from this way. There's, there it is, right up there, okay. Five again, let's do a little time warping here. Time warp about an hour away. We cross over. I always like to watch the moon coming up. That's just me. Now, I don't know if these contracts require me to enter and then leave Moon's SOI. Still not there yet. Right? We're still... Yeah, still above the Earth. Should be any time, though. There we go. Oh, no storage space. Oh, I did not consider that at all. My hard drive is full. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we got the fly by the moon. That was clearly just get into the moon's SOI. But this one, I think, requires me to... Oh, I got to return some science from the moon. Okay. I think I'm going to have to delete a lot of this data. This is going to be problematic. Yeah, I'm going to delete. Okay, let's get that magnetometer boom. Let's turn it off. I think that's the one that's turning, creating a ton of data. And I'm going to delete some of this stuff so that it can do the other stuff. Ah, that's unfortunate. Should I add a bigger hard drive? We'll look at that when we're back into the VAB. All right, because I want to make sure that I do transmit some science from around the moon or else I won't get that one. So that cleared a lot of hard drive space. Now I'll turn the magnetometer report back on. And, the, and this is going back in orbit about Kerbin anyway. So that Kerbin magnetometer report science wasn't a big deal. Okay, let's make sure I'm not filling up that hard drive at a crazy rate. No, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, we got all kinds of moon high stuff coming now. All right, so this all looks good. This all looks good. We're going to be exiting in a couple more days. So uh, let's let's go do our moon flyby. This should all be high space. I don't think any of this is biome specific. No. Feels like, there we go, there we go. So not getting too close to the moon. <laughs> so all this stuff has been collected. Oh, our hard drives are full again. Let's, jeepers creepers.
I mean, let's leave the moon's SOI and we're going to turn that magnetometer off again. I just want to make sure I got this return some science. As soon as we transmit that science, it should be good. It's just the magnetometer is clogging up the works. that okay I'm gonna take that magnetometer we're gonna turn it off come here off I want to transmit some science gosh darn it okay there it's now transmitting that temperature that when that's transmitted that should be this going green and if it's not I'm gonna be annoyed Okay, this is all stuff from around the moon. That magnetometer generates a ton of data. I gotta go back and check on that. Check on some of those stats. There we go, now that's green. Okay, so there, there are the contracts. They are complete. 